All right, George, let's uh, let's let's talk about this new villain. Oh yeah, his name's General Grievous. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, what's like? Yeah, like he's a he's a Jedi hunter. He goes around killing Jedi's. He's got he he kills Jedi. Well, he's like trained in the Jedi arts by Count Dooku. He's just like fights Jedi and he's trained by Count Dooku. Like that's it's pretty cool, George. It's pretty cool. Oh, he's got like these arms that like split and turn into like forearms, and then he can like spin lightsabers like a helicopter. He's pretty, he's, he's wacky. He's dangerous. Whoa, okay, so he can, like, spin him. He's got, like, four arms. That's amazing. How are they, how can they possibly stop this guy? Oh, yeah, Obi-Wan shoots him. That's it? Yep. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting General Grievous and the B2 Battle Droids from Star Wars Shatterpoint by Atomic Mass Games. L let's do it. First thing we're going to do is give this guy a spray of white all over. Then we're going to move to Black Metal by Scale 75. And we're just going to pick out a couple of details here. So a lot of his joints, his arms, were staying away from the cloak and those creamy colored... Uh, armor parts uh, we'll be going to those next so we just want to go through and get everything his feet his arms his legs uh, use some reference material for sure and we're gonna take some pallet bone and some express medium now this is gonna go over all those armor pieces so everywhere we want that uh, ends up being a much creamier color than this is a very sandy bonish color um, this is going all over those panels. Next, we're taking some bone white, and we are literally just going to dry brush all over that pallet bone we just did. So we want to go on, you know, fairly heavy with this, keep our shading intact. Next, we're going to take some Occultist Cloak and some Express Medium, and this is going to go all over that black metal we just did. We want to be careful while doing this because we definitely want to stay away from that uh, bone color that we just put on. Now we're going to take some Moon Lake Coral and some Express Medium, and we're just going to put this into where his eyes are. So he is a cyborg, and he's got that sort of flesh underneath the mask. And uh, it kind of looks like this color, so that's what we're doing. Now we're going to take some somber gray, and we're going to use this just to do these little spots on his mouth. Now we're going to take some sea gray here from Vallejo, and this is going to go just all over the top of the cloak. You can use whatever sort of mid gray you have. You don't have to use this. And we're going to take some Gravelord Grey here, and this is just going to go all over the hilts of his lightsabers. I will put a link in the description below showing how I do the lightsaber blades. Now we're going to take some Slaughter Red and some Express Medium, and this is going to go all over the inside of the cloak. So, a uh, good thing to remember is that uh, when you glue things together, they're not uh, airtight. It's a good thing to remember. Because, as you can see here, the Slaughter Red bled up into the other colors, so we have to go back and fix all that. And we just fixed it the same way that we just painted it, so it's not like it was a hard thing to fix, but it was, um, an, uh, it was an annoying thing to fix. Yeah, it was annoying. I was upset. I was very upset. Next, we're taking some Amaranth Red, and we are just going to do a dry brush on the inside of that cloak. And we're going to take some volcanic yellow here, and we are just going to dot in his eyes. And 
Now we're going to take some Beowulf blue and some Grim Black and we're going to add in a bit of Express Medium here. And this is just going to go all over that cloak that we did. So just the top of the cloak, stay away from the red because we finished with that. And we're going to hop back to our sea gray and we are going to dry brush that cloak with our sea gray. Now we're going to take some brassy brass and this is going to go all over the statue on his base. I mean, you can do this however you want. This is just how I'm deciding to do it. I, it might be fine if it looks like stone too. I'm going to take some Agrax Earthshade, and once that brassy brass has dried, we're going to put this all over it, just to get some of the weathering and shading in on that. Next, we're going to take some Oxide and some Verdigree from Dirty Down. I don't... Nihilic Oxide? I don't know. Shouldn't be that difficult. The other one's just called Verdigree. <laughs> Whatever, doesn't matter. So some Nihilic Oxide and some Verdigree, and we're just gonna put this Verdigree on first. Now this is from Dirty Down. It's a really cool product. Uh, once that uh, dries, it starts doing its thing. After it's all dried, we're gonna add in a little bit of the Oxide into some of those spots. It really makes it pop. And that finishes up our General Grievous. We'll just do the base and now we'll move on to the B2s. So first thing we'll do is give them a spray of silver all over, then take some Occultist Cloak. Now the Occultist Cloak is going to be kind of the same as Grievous. We're just going to go in and do a couple spots here. So we have the spot on his stomach area, the joints in between his legs, and also um, up on his arm here, we've got uh, one area we're going to put this on. And that's just basically going to break up our colors so it's not just all the same. So it gives us a little bit of variation in between. Plus, uh, the art looks like it's like this. So, there we go. Now we're going to take some Runic Gray, and this is going to go all over the miniature. Now, because the silver spray is so glossy, this becomes a little hydrophobic, so you just have to work it in as best as you can. Or spray it with a matte spray before. I could have done that too, but whatever. Next, we're going to take some cobalt metal and we're going to dry brush over the entire miniature with that. And that's going to kind of get away any of our splotchiness from the speed paint and uh, any of those hydrophobic areas that maybe didn't work in well enough. This is going to cover up any of our mistakes on that. So we just want to make sure we go through and get everything covered. Next, we're going to take some deep red, and this is just going to go on these lights on their chest, and also we're going to put this into their little eye spots there. So just take your time, be careful. Um, yeah, it was a tight one. We're going to take a little dot of white and put it up at the top of the red to make it look like it's reflecting. We're going to do the base, and these guys are done. And here they are all finished up. I mean, they're B2s. They look pretty good. For something we didn't work too hard on they actually look pretty good anyway moving on to general grievous now i'm really happy with how this turned out um using really easy techniques to get him finished um and i think he looks really good i really like the base as well like that worked out really well um great miniature like he was a bad dude in the movie but i mean the clone wars is really where he uh shown as a character like we really got to experience more of him and see just how awful he was because in the movies he was kind of he's a little light and and coughing a lot so the clone wars really helped he's also a super cool design of uh, i mean like as characters go he's an awesome design either way thank you guys so much for watching please like share comment subscribe all of the youtube stuff you guys have a great day and next we're going to take some pallet brown pallet brown pallet brown what up brown <laughs> general grievous it's a pretty on the nose name he's it's not like they're hiding anything there oh is he a good guy no his name's grievous <laughs>